Good morning, everyone. Scott Davis from TechWise Group here with another great day. Uh, it is April 15th, 2020. Uh, officially, uh, I guess it would be known as Tax Day, uh, but with everything going on, coronavirus, COVID-19, Tax Day has been extended for, I think, pretty much everybody at this point. Uh, on the technology standpoint, uh, over the last day, uh, Scuff Gaming, if you're a gamer out there, um, they had a work from home error um, as they quickly transitioned to allow their employees to work from home. They uh, set up an unsecured database, uh, no password, no nothing to access it um, to allow some work from home functionality and approximately 1 million gamer records, including names, email addresses, billing addresses, phone, partial credit card information with expiration dates uh, were breached in that database. Uh, they are auditing all their systems. They're doing a full analysis, you know, what was happened and they're going to notify ultimately the million gamers uh, that potentially were impacted by this. Um, another one uh, from a little while ago, uh, Visser Manufacturing and Visser, a manufacturing and design company uh, that has some pretty big contracts had ransomware, uh, including Boeing, Lockheed Martin, SpaceX. Uh, well, the hacking group uh, behind that ransomware has taken to the next step. Um, so with ransomware, it's not just getting your files locked and encrypted, but more and more and almost every strain that's active in the world right now is actually pulling data off of your computers before it's encrypted. And so these new kind of this, especially this one here, uh, this new gang of hackers actually if you don't pay the ransom, they blackmail you and say, well, we're going to release your data if you don't pay us. And well, Boeing, Lockheed Martin and SpaceX did not pay uh, and their data has been publicly made available. Um, this is uh, pretty much what's becoming known as nuclear ransomware, where just because you're taking the proper steps to protect and you know have that reactive plan to bring your data back, if you don't pay, they're going nuclear to try to force you to pay some money. Uh, so that's kind of the tech bits of it. Uh, what I did uh, a little bit special here uh, for the first time on uh, one of my daily videos is I invited a, a, you know, a good friend of mine, Dave Crown. He's the franchise owner of Cartridge World, just to kind of talk a little bit about how the printing industry and cartridges at Inc. Uh, has been impacted by coronavirus and COVID-19. Dave, how are you? I'm doing good, Scott. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for joining me. Uh, so I just have a couple questions for you. You know, just to get started, what have you seen with the transition? You know, with work from home. Uh, well, I think one of the biggest shockers to me, as somebody who's around printers and ink all the time, is how many people actually don't have a printer at their house. Uh, these days, you can do pretty much everything from your phone, whether it's you know your tickets to a sporting event. You don't actually need to print off your StubHub purchase anymore. So a lot of people don't even have printers. Uh, we've been very lucky. One of our vendors has had a whole bunch of HP factory refurbished printers that we've been shipping straight to people's doorsteps. Uh, so yeah, right now trying to get people printers or places that normally had people coming into the office are now paying for their uh, employees ink just as a uh, you know, we don't want to eat up your printer, but we need you to print these items. Uh, so that's probably the two biggest things. Uh, just an extra cost for the employers, because uh, they're probably paying for a large copier contract still, but they still have to have their work from home people pay or print. And so they're either getting them new printers or they're taking care of their ink costs. Awesome. Um, can you, obviously with ink costs, can you talk a little bit about, you know, the advantages of, you know, purchasing ink versus a new printer? Because sometimes the cost of ink is $80 and the new printer is $80 or even looking at a managed printer for at-home use. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So first I'm going to start with the printer versus ink. Um, I always give this warning to people at Black Friday time because printers are dirt cheap then, and it's not the cost of the printer, it's the cost of the lifetime of the use and cost per page of the ink cartridges. A lot of times when you get a starter cartridge, or a, a new printer, they come with starter ink cartridges in them. And there's very little ink in them, so you might look and say, oh, the cost is the same, or it's even cheaper to buy the printer. 
but then you realize you'll run out of ink again in like five days. So uh, you really have to look and see how much, how many pages you're expected to get out of that ink before you just go ahead and dump the printer, buy another one. Uh, as far as managed devices, a managed device can mean so many different things. What I would imagine you're alluding to is more like the HP Instant Ink or things where kind of like a Netflix or doing a subscription service, you're doing very minimal printing. There's nothing out there that can beat it. If you're doing 10 pages or less a month, they literally give you ink for free. Um, however, I've actually found a lot of customers who realize they are they just can't figure out the right subscription for themselves, and they're actually paying too much over time because they either don't need as many pages as the one subscription or they're overprinting on the other one and then they're getting charged all this like data on a phone. So it really depends. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Um, obviously, since we're here selling printer cartridges, we don't, don't offer anything like that. Um, but yeah, those are kind of different options. We have our own uh, service similar. Uh, we do have a program called Printer Pulse that we manage uh, your ink levels, your toner levels, things like that for a business, and we do that for free as long as they're buying our products. Um, also, we have a program that gives you a free printer. It's called our Why Buy a Printer program. Uh, you have to qualify certain volume usages, but that's sort of our, I say, simple man's version of a copier lease. Uh, where rather than trying to come up with a monthly amount, it's just, you know, however much toner you use. So you learn, you figure out a way to go paperless. You can still have the printer for whenever you do actually need to print, but you're going to use it a lot less often. Um, I hope that sort of answered your questions. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that was spot on. And uh, kind of, I guess my last question is obviously being in technology, a lot of us are essential employees as classified both federally as well as here in the state of Pennsylvania because technology powers everything. And how does, you know, how has the whole coronavirus COVID-19 affected, you know, your small business, uh, the franchise of Cartridge World Carlisle? Um, well, first thing is we are considered an essential business. Um, kind of strangely, Pennsylvania labels us differently than Nationally, I think nationally, any office supply store is considered essential. Um, and I think the reason the big box stores around here are still able to stay in business is primarily because they also offer cleaning supplies, which those obviously are essential right now. Uh, our Pennsylvania workaround to that is I mentioned our Why Buy a Printer program and rentals are allowed. So because of the fact that we have essential businesses, that are renting our equipment and under a contract that they must buy from us, we're allowed to be open. Um, because of that, though, we're trying to do everything we can to stay on the up and up as much as we can. So we're offering curbside pickup. Uh, if somebody does want to come in, perhaps they're paying with cash and you know, there's going to be a transaction of money anyway, hand to hand, uh, wiping down the doors, wiping down the counter be between customers anything like that, and we're not just keeping regular hours, so you sort of have to plan that a little bit more. Um, there's been some positives and negatives as far as how our business is functioning as well. I mean, some of our customers aren't essential, so they're unfortunately closed right now. You know, schools, non-essential stores don't really have a way of doing work from home. Um, it's not on the other side, though. Now parents are becoming teachers. They're printing a lot more. Positively, we've seen a lot of new customers come find us simply because they like the idea of shopping from a small business. And it's been pretty cool to see. And hopefully when this is over, those guys stay our customers. We get new people or we get our regular customers back and functioning. We don't have too many that have to go out of business. And we might actually end up seeing long-term growth out of this uh, crazy phase we're in. Wow, that's absolutely, that's great. Um, so the last question I have is, you know, how can people reach out to you if they need ink or printing supplies? Okay, yeah, great question. So 
probably the best way right now is on my cell phone because, like I said, I'm not in the store as often as I usually would be. Uh, my cell phone number is 717-903-3956, uh, or you can email me, CW Carlisle, C-A-R-L-I-S-L-E, 451 at gmail.com. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for joining me, uh, everyone. That's another uh, daily episode of uh, Scott's uh, little, I guess, TechWise daily video. So thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for having me.